Hey guys, Personal Effects back. Today we're going to be working with expressions, and you're going to be able to make animations like my intro there. Unfortunately, we're not going to be making my intro. I'm just going to show you how to rig this up so you can animate, you know, 10, 100, 1,000 pictures, all with a great amount of ease and in many different kinds of ways. So, once we get this rigged up, hopefully next tutorial I'll be coming at you with how to save this as a preset and how to put it onto a DVD and then start selling it to all your friends for an insane amount of cash and then start living the good life. Um, hopefully. <laughs> Call it a revolution. Just kidding. Alright, let's dive right in. We'll go composition, new composition. And I've only got 10 minutes, so I've got to talk fast. Doesn't matter how big I make mine. Uh, this is just an example, right? So, control Y. I'm going to start bringing in a couple different solids. Control Y is the shortcut for new solid. Right, now I'll just bring in a bunch of different colors and just one more for good measure uh, so the ladies don't feel out we'll pick pink. Alright, and I'll even go as far as to name the pink one leader. Okay, because everything underneath the leader is going to sort of follow the leader. Right, simple follow the leader expression and we're just going to tie all kinds of things in with it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get a new camera. Let's make a 35 millimeter preset and we'll get a new null object. And we'll name this main control because this is where we're going to apply all of our expression controls to. So we'll go to effect expression controls, slider control. I'll just use a few of these, hit control D three times and just rename these to like X offset and Y offset and Z offset. That's right, I'm Canadian, I said Z. And the last one will be father time, just to be cheeky. All right, and the first one I'm gonna mess with is father time, but let's make everything 3D. And let's scale everything down just a bit, like so. And as I said, the leader, this is what we're going to animate, as well as all the sliders we're going to put on, but uh, everything else follows the leader. So we're going to apply the expression to the first one underneath it. So we'll hit P to bring open position. We'll go to our main control and hit E to bring up the effects. We need this slider visible, because we're going to pick whip to it. Um, and yeah, let's just alt click the stopwatch on the position of the one under the leader here, and we'll write this comp dot layer open parentheses this layer comma minus one okay so we're just telling it that we want to take the value of the layer above us okay it's dot position value and then we'll add another dot value at time open parentheses and then time space minus this slider, so pick whip to this slider, and then close parentheses. Okay, so now it'll offset in time according to this slider. So we set this to 0.5, it'll be 0.5 seconds behind the layer above it. That's what that expression is all about. So let's just sort of go on an angle here, and let's take the leader, hit P for position, and let's just set a couple keyframes so we can see what's going on. I'm sure your animation will be a lot more elaborate than this. But I'll hit the stopwatch, move ahead two seconds, and we'll just move this, say, forward on the z-axis. And, as you can see, the guy right behind it starts where he is, ends where he is, follows him by 0.5. Which is a good start. And, as I said, if we're using this for a slideshow, we're not going to just be able to hit Control D now, are we? So we're going to want to highlight the position, we're going to want to edit copy expression only, and we want to select everything below it and Control V. Alright, and then everything kind of follows suit. Offset by this much from each other, which is great. So, yeah, you can have a hundred layers, that's alright. Next thing we want to do is set up the so we can offset the position because I don't like the way it starts at the same Z position, ends at the same Z position. 
nah, I don't want them crunching together like that. So we're just going to twirly these open, the X, Y, and the Z, so those sliders are visible to us. And we're just going to add on the end of this. We're going to add plus uh, left big chunky bracket and pick whip to the X. And then we're going to add a comma. And we're going to pick whip to the Y. And then we're going to add another comma. And we're going to pick whip to the Z. And then close big chunky bracket. Okay, so now what we've got set up here is something awesome. Now, the Z offset, we can set this like 45 pixels from each other. So now when they end up, they don't end up on top of each other. Well, these ones still do because we haven't copied this new expression over. So select position, edit copy expression only, all your stuff underneath it, and control V to paste. So now when they stop, they're all set 20 or whatever we set this well, apart from each other. Okay. And that gives us the freedom also to animate this slider so they come whatever way you want. And in addition, we've set up the Y. So we can now animate them up and down like so. And we can also offset them on the X and animate them like so. All to a slider. Okay? Very valuable. Now, we can hook up all kinds of more properties to this but I don't have time to hook up every property unfortunately so we're going to do one more I'm going to show you we'll go effect expression controls one more slider control let's call this X rotation and we can just kind of borrow the expression that we already wrote so select it and control copy and twirly open that X rotation slider so we can see it because we're going to be whipping to it and let's bring up the rotation properties of the one under the leader. The X rotation is the one we want, so I'll click that stopwatch and paste in that big load of junk we got from there. But we're going to take out everything past the plus. Well, past that bracket, so we've got plus bracket. So all this, this comp slider, blah blah blah, large bowl of porridge, all gone. And we're going to just pick whip this now to this slider and close big chunky bracket and all we gotta do is because now we're not using the position we're using the rotation so we just change this word position to rotation okay and again highlight it copy expression only select everything below and control V and now you can uh, offset its X rotation from each other by so much onto the slider. Okay, now you can see where this is going. Hopefully, you understand this. Uh, go ahead and hook up the Y rotation, the Z rotation. If you want to mess and move that anchor point over, you can even have things fan out, okay, using the Z rotation. Um, yeah, lots of fun to be had, lots of different animations you can do with this, and as I said, once you got this set up, hopefully next time we'll come at you with the uh, tutorial on how to save it as a pre preset and make that cash. <sighs> okay, I gotta go. Word time is up. Uh, take care.